In this lesson, we will learn different number sets. The first number set we have is set of natural number. It is expressed using n. And the elements are all positive integers. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. After set of natural numbers, we have set of integers. It is expressed using capital G. The G comes from a German word, Zelen. It means number. G is a set of both positive and negative integers. That means minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. After integers, we have set of rational number. It is expressed using capital Q. The Q comes from a German word, quotient. Q is a set of number that can be expressed as ratio. That means 1 over 2, 4 by 2, or 5 by 2, and so on. Instead of 5 by 2, we can write 2.5 if we prefer. As long as a number can be expressed using decimal point or as a ratio, it is a rational number. The number that cannot be expressed as a ratio is an irrational number. The set of irrational number is expressed using Q bar and the elements are numbers that cannot be expressed as ratio such as pi, root 2, Euler's number and so on. Pi is approximately 3.1416, but actually, pi is equals 3.1416 and it keeps going on and on and on. You cannot express it as ratio of two numbers. That is why it is an irrational number. Whenever we cannot express a number as A over B, or in decimal point, we call it a irrational number. After set of irrational number, we have set of real number. It is expressed using capital R. It is actually the set of both rational and irrational number. That means the elements can be minus 1, minus 2.6, or pi, 0, 1, 2, 2.5, and so on. After the set of real number, we have the set of imaginary number. It is expressed using capital I. The number that gives us negative value after squaring it is an imaginary number. For example, if we take the square of square root of negative 1, we got minus 1. 
that means here this square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number we express this imaginary number using small i for example if we take minus 100 square root then we will have then we will have 100 square root and minus 1 square root here this 100 square root is 10 and this minus square root is i so we got 10 i which is an imaginary number and set of imaginary number is expressed using capital I and the elements are I minus I 20 I 50 I and so on after this set of imaginary number we have set of complex number it is expressed using capital C a complex number has two parts real and imaginary the real part is a real number for example let us take 10 and the imaginary part is an imaginary number for example let us take 5i then this is a complex number and a set of complex number can be 5 plus 2i or 1 minus 10i or it can be 2.6 plus 5.2i and so on now let's have a comparison among these number sets we're starting with the natural number this circle represents the set of natural numbers it is actually a part of set of integers and set of integers is a part of rational number let us take a small circle that represents irrational number now both set of rational and irrational number is a part of real number now let us take a small circle here that represents imaginary number now the set of real numbers and set of imaginary numbers together is a part of complex number that's all about number sets i will see you in the next lesson